It's Thursday, September 27th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. The Democratic presidential candidates debated last night on MSNBC at Dartmouth College, which, by the way, has no official mascot, but is unofficially represented at sports games by Keggy the Keg. Sounds like a fun place to go to school. And speaking of rollicking good times, the debate had a few interesting highlights. When asked about the viability of Social Security in the future, Senator Clinton refused to outline specific policy remedies, while Senators Obama and Biden both raised the specter of raising taxes. Another big moment came when the candidates were asked whether they would be comfortable with their children learning about same-sex marriage in second grade. No candidate said they would object to this, but as Pat Buchanan said after the debate, this might be big stuff in Dartmouth, but I can tell you, that stuff doesn't sell. Well said, Pat. Of course, your presidential candidacy didn't sell too well either. Additionally, Senator Clinton changed her position on torture last night. The question from Tim Russert was roughly this. We know a bomb is about to go off. We've captured a terrorist whom we are certain knows when and where it's going to blow. Is it okay to torture that guy? Clinton said that torture should never be American policy, contradicting her stance from a year ago that seemed to allow for exceptions. The main problem with that question, of course, is that in the real world we would never have the kind of certainty that the scenario proposes. So how much certainty do we need to have of both the bomb's existence and the detainee's knowledge of it before we can start beating the crap out of some terrorist? 80%? 90%? If only there were a U.S. president who knew exactly how to handle situations like this. Finally, the LA Times reports today that Mitt Romney's 14-point lead in New Hampshire over Rudy Giuliani is now gone. In a new poll from CNN, WMUR, and the University of New Hampshire, Romney is now at 25%, Giuliani 24%, McCain 18%, Thompson 13%, and since this is the internet, I should mention Ron Paul, who is at 4%. Of course, only 13% of likely New Hampshire Republicans have made up their minds, meaning there's still time for Tom Tancredo's unlikely come-from-behind feel-good victory. Well, that's it for today's hit. Be sure to check out politico.com slash playbook for more required reading, including a look at who famed documentarian Marty DeBerge I mean, Rob Reiner, is going to support for president. And don't worry, because if you know where a nuclear bomb is about to explode, and we capture you, and we know that you know, we promise not to beat the crap out of you as long as you can prove you're a loyal fan of Playbook TV.